Hi, I'm Adam with Let Us Try That, and today I'm going to take a look at another I've seen on TV product. This time it is the copper knife. They say that it never needs sharpening. I'm going to have to call BS on that right from the beginning. In my opinion, the only knife that never needs sharpening is the knife that you never use. I think if you use it, it's going to need sharpening at some point. But the reason I bought this is because it was only like five or six dollars. It was super cheap. And they say that it's sharp, so we'll test that out. And they also showed on the infomercial cutting through cheese without the cheese sticking to the blade, so I want to test that out as well. So I'm going to start by simply making a sandwich and we'll see how it does. I've taken the knife out of the packaging and I washed it and now I'm ready to put it to the test. So to start making my sandwich, I'm going to slice this sandwich roll. And that seemed to do a pretty good job. It seems fairly sharp. A lot of times you might have to use a serrated blade to cut through a roll, but this made its way through pretty easily. For my sandwich, I would also like some pepper jack cheese. This cheese is fairly soft and it's definitely sticky, so with a regular knife, especially a non-serrated knife, the cheese would stick to the blade. So we'll see how the copper knife does. Okay, it really didn't stick very much. It, a little bit stuck right there, but not nearly as much as it would with a blade that didn't have these ovals cut out. So a little bit more cheese. I'm trying to cut the cheese very thin, and because of that it's crumbling, but with the oval cutouts and the non-stick coating, the cheese really doesn't stick too bad. So the knife does live up to that particular claim that they make in the infomercial. So one of the biggest selling points with this particular knife is how sharp it is. So I want to do a couple of quick tests to see how sharp it is. Um, one test is to take the knife and put it on your thumbnail or fingernail and a dull knife would just slide right off. If the knife kind of bites and doesn't slide, it's pretty sharp. Another test we can do is slicing paper. So I have some junk mail lying around and I can just uh, do a little test, see how that does. That's actually pretty good. Okay. That's pretty sharp. For the most part, I'm not sawing through. I'm Once I get started, I'm able to pretty much just push through. All right, that does seem pretty sharp. Let's put it through one additional test and see if it can shave the hair off my arm. I don't know if you can see that, but it did take some hair off my arm. I can see hair on the blade. It's hard to see with the copper coating, but the hair is coming off. And I have a little bald spot on my forearm, so. So it passes the fingernail test. It slides right through paper and it does actually shave hair. So it is pretty sharp. Whether it will stay forever sharp and never need sharpening, that's another story. So the makers of this knife claim that it's sharp and it is. They also claim that the oval cut design reduces friction and keeps slices from sticking. And I would say that's mostly true also. When I slice cheese, a little bit of cheese stuck to the blade, but not nearly as much as it would if I used a blade like this. Of course, their claim that it never needs sharpening, 
that's the claim that I'm pretty skeptical about. So I want to test it. Now, I'm not going to use this knife every day for six months and then report back. That'll just take too long. So what I want to do is I'm going to put it through some simulated use. And what I'm planning on doing is just using this to cut up some cardboard boxes. And I think maybe after I get through 75 or 100 slices of cardboard, if it can still slice through paper or shave the hair off my arm, then I'm going to go ahead and say that it lives up to the claim. But I am not uh, very hopeful that it's going to. Okay, so now I'm going to use this knife to slice through some cardboard, and after doing that for a while, we'll see if it stays just as sharp as it did when I took it out of the package. It definitely starts out sharp. We'll see how long that lasts. Okay, the knife is still very sharp in parts. Right here at the base, it still feels pretty sharp. It bites on the fingernail test. Right here, it does shave off a little bit of the fingernail, but it also doesn't bite as much as it used to. So we'll see. We're just getting started. Okay, I've cut one cardboard box into probably a few dozen strips. I don't know how much cutting that will simulate, whether it's a month, two months, six months of use, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the paper test now and see if this will still slice through paper the way it did when I first took it out of the packaging. start with the fingernail test. Down here at the base, really low on the knife, it still bites my fingernail quite a bit. But that could just be because I didn't get really deep on the blade when I was cutting the cardboard. Yeah, it's definitely right here at the very base of the blade, it still bites. And just up from that a little bit, it bites a little, but not as much. And right there, it's still sharp, and right there, not as much. Again, so it's like parts of the blade are still sharp, and parts, I don't think they're quite as sharp as they were. Let's do the paper test. It does cut the paper, but not as easily as before. And just like I suspected after doing the thumbnail test, parts of the blade are not as sharp as they were. So like I said at the beginning, I don't think there's any such thing as a knife that never needs sharpening. But I am impressed with how well this thing holds an edge. I mean, I, uh, I could cut another couple of boxes and really put it to the test, but I'm pretty impressed with it, especially considering this knife only cost five or six dollars on Amazon. And uh, it's super sharp right out of the box, and it did hold an edge pretty well after cutting up all of this cardboard. It's still fairly sharp. So I think for the money, it's of tremendous value. I don't think there are too many five or six dollar knives that will compare to the quality of this knife. Now this is not going to be the same quality as some expensive kitchen knife that costs two or three hundred dollars, but I don't think you're going to get a better kitchen knife for five or six bucks. I also want to talk about the handle material for a second. I mean it's plastic and it's hard, but it has just a hint of a rubbery feel, but I'd say it's mostly hard plastic but it does feel comfortable in my hand and I do feel like I have a good grip. If I'm cutting, I'm not worried that I'm gonna be uh, slipping off of the handle. 
So the handle's comfortable, and the blade held up better than I thought it would. There's no such thing as a blade that doesn't need sharpening, but for five or six dollars, I don't think you can beat this one. If you'd like to pick up one of these knives for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another Let Us Try That product review.